Hey guys, in this video we're going to be reviewing this laser Pico Second Pen. Let's open the box. Inside you'll find a pad and some instructions. We won't be getting those. And you'll find an actual pen and a charger. And you get some really nice safe eye goggles. And these will actually block 100% of the laser light, but only because they're opaque. Let's get rid of that. We'll put these aside and we'll look at these instructions. Oops. Keep the machine clean and avoid contact with other. No unauthorized use of the hand. Okay. Oh, man. So we have this power supply. It is 5 volts and 2 amps. That's like 10 watts. And it has a little port in the back here. Let's plug this thing in. Oh, it beeps. Let's see what we can do with this thing. I'm going to press the on button. Nothing's happening. God, this thing's annoying. One. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really bright. Let's turn up all the way. Oh, man. That is really bright. I can see why they added goggles. All right, let's see what we can do with this laser. Let's try its intended use. Ow! This is a really powerful laser. Let's see if we can burn this black plastic. You can see the little trail of smoke right here. This thing is powerful. Oh wow, it even melted the plastic. So we know this thing has a ridiculously powerful laser in it. Problem is it pulses and you can't get a straight output. So let's tear this thing down and see what we've got in it. I really hope it's not a tube laser. Oh, the screwdriver can't reach them. One useful tip when your screwdriver can't reach in the hole is if it's a bit, you put the bit in the hole first and you make sure it makes contact with the screw. Then you put your screwdriver at an angle and unscrew it like this. So you're unscrewing it at an angle while pressing down and that will get the screw out. Wow, that's really simple. We just got a simple circuit board here. I'm gonna tear that one out. A whole bunch of other stuff, the casing, and we got the circuit board. It doesn't even look like it steps the voltage down. All right, let's unplug these, and we really don't need this. So here is the whole laser assembly. It looks like this is a cooling block, and the fan is blowing through in, through these two holes. Where's the laser though? Must be in here. Okay, so in there is a laser diode, and that is what actually emits the blue light. I'm gonna connect the circuit board back on just to see how this thing works. Let's see if that does the trick. Whoa. So this is without the little lens in front, so let's put that back on. And we're not gonna need the circuit board anymore. And I'm assuming this thing takes 5 volts, but I really don't want to risk it. So we're going to get a little step-down converter. This is a little 10 watt step-down converter. And what it does is it takes 12 volts in and it converts it to 4.2 volts. And it's also adjustable here. I chose 4.2 volts because most lasers run on 18650 cells. And the max voltage of those is 4.2 volts. So let's hook this thing up. This one's ground, which is negative, And this one is positive. Here we've got a 12 volt 5 amp hour lead acid battery and we're going to connect this thing up. Unfortunately I don't have a switch on this so it's going to turn on immediately when I connect the power. Oh, oh god that's so much brighter. Oh that is so cool. I really want to see its burning capabilities now. Do you see that? That's so much more powerful. <coughs> wow I must have tripled the output of that laser. Wow you can see where it engraved it everywhere. It's amazing to think that this powerful laser is inside such a cheap product. I mean, you're supposed to use this thing on your skin. Obviously, the picoseconds that they claim are more like 100 milliseconds, so this thing would fry your skin. I feel bad to whoever bought this and actually used it on their skin. That's crazy. Let's make this handheld. Instead of using this big heavy lith- It's not a lithium battery. Instead of using this big heavy lead acid battery, we're going to be switching to these three 18650 cells. These will provide the needed current and voltage. For the body of the laser, we're going to be using outdoor use only. So let's take our little setup here, and we're going to put it in the tube. I put an extension lead on the positive side, and the negative side just has this sticking out, and this will make contact with the lithium battery. Let's take our one-inch tube and put it all inside. Now we're going to take the end of this, and we're going to tape it on. Not to worry, because we're using fancy tape. God, that looks horrible. Eh, that's good enough. Now we've got our positive wire sticking out, and we're going to get the end cap with a switch on it. And here it is. This is just a flashlight switch. And we're going to put that on here. And the wire that's right there will make contact with the switch and the batteries, and that will complete the circuit. Let's try it out. 
And there we go, it's finished. I put the batteries in and it's ready to go. I always have to keep it moving or else it's gonna burn the table. Oh, stinky stuff again. Look at that. Although it's not a focus beam, it's still really bright. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. Whoa, that is so bright. Wow. Wow, even when there's light, you can still see the beam. Overall, do I think you guys should get one of these? Hell no. Do I think you should get one of these to experiment with it? Well, that's up to you. I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe.